All right, folks. Tommy Cowan here on the lawn with you, but in the kitchen. And today is promised in a long time ago video. Uh, I promised that we were going to do some home brewing, making some beer. So I want to just, uh, I've been doing this quite a long time. Probably first time I brewed a batch of beer was about 30 years ago. And I've been doing it on and off for a long time. And, uh, you know, you do it in your kitchen. Uh, the key to a good brew in your kitchen is sanitation. So, typically just bleach, household bleach. And using your sink as a sanitation chamber. Anything that's going to come in contact with that brew. The carboy, that's the large kettle here that will actually brew the wort in. Um, and later on we'll get to the stage of bottling, kind of, you want to keep everything, anything that's going to come in contact and soak down. So what I like to do is fill my sink up with water. I drain it out constantly. I kick all the cats out, little mobos outside the door. He's not allowed in here right now. And won't be allowed for a while if you see my brew kettle. I'm heating up about two and a half gallons of water. And I just added about Oh, you don't need but about an ounce of a uh, couple ounces of bleach. Just regular household bleach. Two, a couple gallons of water should suffice. But anything that's going to come in contact, utensils, anything. Let me go over some of the brewing kit that you get. And in fact, everything in this kit is going to get sanitized as well. I'm going to dunk this at some brewer's yeast. These are the steeping grains um, that I'm going to be using. Some more brewer's yeast. Just run them under that bleach water. Anything. Get rid of any paper. Uh, here's some, that's priming sugar for later. That goes with the bottling process. Uh, this is uh, the dried malt extract. That will go in the wort here soon. Um, some more hops. Hops. That's hops. Sorry. Bottled caps come with your kit. Um, that's uh, crushed malt. I'm just getting everything touched. The, these are hops, actually. That's what came in these boxes. Dry malt extract. And then these cans here, this is a liquid. Uh, malt extract. So it's like a syrup. That goes in there. You want to get those cans. Go ahead and get those cans sanitized. Oh. This is a little brew bag for your uh, grains. I'll be steeping grains in this. It's like a sock. Don't need to sanitize that yet. I'm going to put my grains in that. And there's my brewer's yeast that's going to go in the carboy after I've transferred the wort into it at the end of the brewing process. You see my uh, can, my uh, brewing kettle going nuts there. You know, you get all the instructions with the kits and you'll pay about, just to go a little about how much beer costs. You make a five gallon batch, which is a couple of cases of beer. Uh, so, you know, you'll get the kit, will come with instructions, but I like to refer to this old book, this is, I bought this probably 30 years ago, from uh, Charlie Papazi, who, and uh, this is kind of old and really cool, some of the pictures in here, and you know, when I first did this, it was really intimidating, you know, I'm like, God, I don't want to mess up my beer, uh, but they always say in here, in just all the chapters, relax and have a home brew. Ah, that's good. Okay, so you know, oh, this is the complete joy of home brewing, and that is a great. That's the Bible to me. There's a lot of newer books out. That's goes way, way back. Just to go over some of the components of this with you, um, of the kit you buy, and uh, typically, you know, you're gonna pay about 25 bucks, maybe 30 for the kit to make the five gallon batch. And um, so the first thing we're going to do 
is add our grains to this bag. And that is something I'm going to do. And I'll get back in just a moment. We'll go ahead and take a break and be right back.